Hey guys, how are we all? This is the first time I've vlogged actually since I've been back from Florida, which has been like about a week and a half now. I'm still knackered, by the way. That trip ruined me. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I would pick up the camera today as we're off somewhere fun. I am heading to London in a minute to go to the Disney 100 exhibition preview. So this Disney 100 exhibition has been like touring the world. It looks absolutely insane there's so many cool disney things going on and it's in london currently it opens to the public tomorrow on friday the 13th of october friday the 13th tomorrow i did not realize that hopefully we all have a good day on friday the 13th and nothing spooky happens but today is the preview so we're going for a tour of the exhibition there's going to be nibbles and refreshments and i'm going to see lots of friends there and i'm very very excited so I've gone with the purple dress because you know Disney 100 is like silver and lilacs and Mickey's um, trousers are purple and Minnie's got purple on her outfit. I've got my ears as well. The only purple ones that I've got now are these Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary ones but they do go lovely with the dress so they're going to do the trick and be nice and shimmery and gorgeous i have got a blazer don't worry i'm not walking around in october in a strappy dress alone so as i say i'm about to go get on the train and then head down to the excel and i think i'm going to get to use the new elizabeth line today which will be fun well it's not fun is it it's a it's a tube line but apparently it's really nice and i haven't actually been on it yet and yeah it's just something new to experience and then i'm going to go find my friend lauren and off we'll go on our jolly way to the Disney 100 exhibition. So I hope you guys enjoy coming along with us. If you're visiting the exhibition, I think it's going on until like into the new year or at least till Christmas time. So plenty of time to go and get that Disney magic here in London. Do be sure to subscribe if you're not already and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Elizabeth line was really good actually, very very easy, air con, we are fluffy from weather but it's fine and guys these signs all along heading down towards the Excel for the Disney 100 exhibition are all like themed and saying welcome to the preview event and like I'm getting Disney magic vibes already like I'm not even in there yet but let me show you this. How cute is this? Seriously and they all had like a different one on and then there's this big one up here Oh my gosh, I can see marble signs and everything. I'm going to start squealing soon. I'm getting really excited. Seriously, guys, look at this. Look at it all. Welcome to the London preview of um, Disney 100. The exhibition. Oh my gosh, there's fireworks. Look at the big, big Mickey. They're obviously still doing a few bits ready for the proper opening tomorrow. I think we're going to enter down there when it gets nearer to 3. It's only 2.20 right now, but look. It's going to be so much fun. So I'm inside the Excel now, it's so cold, there's literally signage everywhere for Disney 100, I'm so excited. Yeah, I've just got a little um, Costa Toasty, classic ham and cheese with a Coke Z, and I've got one for Lauren as well, she's just literally walking in the building as we speak, so not long now. I found my Lauren. We're so excited, aren't we? <laughs> there's a cloakroom here, so Lauren's staying for a few nights, we've just been down to put her stuff in the cloakroom, which is yeah. handy yeah. and yeah. really what time is it? Do you know? It is. Just gone, just gone half two. So we're going to go and like look near the entrance so we see when people start going in, providing it's not raining because it's outside. But oh my gosh, what are you excited for? What like film memorabilia? Oh, oh it's frozen. Old school stuff. As yeah. Well. Yeah, Frozen would be cool. You like your classics, don't I you? I do like my classics. Lauren was just saying, guys, that her ears are the first pair she ever bought. Was it from Disney World? No, these are Disneyland Paris. Disney Paris. Oh, which is yeah. quite like nostalgic and cute for the 100th, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And she let me wear these ones, which are also Magic Maker ears, like mine were. Disney 100, though, which is so amazing. Nice. Mm. So lovely, aren't they? Nice. So nice. Guys, look, it's like a blue carpet leading us down. Hello, sorcerer. Hello, sorcerer Lauren. 
<laughs> not under a spotlight, but we've just come in. We're waiting for the little pre-show that starts in three minutes, but we're just having a little read through about like the exhibition and there's some like character drawings and stuff, but it's so cool guys. I think this is gonna be amazing. That pre-show was adorable. Guys, I probably should say as well that there will be spoilers in this vlog because I'm like vlogging at the guy. So if you come in and you don't want to see, maybe don't watch it just yet. But yeah, we come through and the first thing that we're going to learn about is Walt's early years. I've just had a read round as all bits about his life and the first things that he started to write and stuff. And it's, it's lovely. Like, look at this. I love Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. He's so cute. We've got the invention of Mickey Mouse and Minnie and then a little bit about all the pals, the Fab Five. It's so interesting. Is it Walt talking? Oh. I love this bit for Walt's legacy. You've got like the eras of Disney. It started with like the 1920s and the start of the Walt Disney Company. Going through all the years. New York World's Fair. Oh. Up until literally this year. Haunted Mansion. Oh, I love it. This is amazing. We're only in like the second room, but we're just like, oh. <laughs> so good. We're in a room now that's looked like it's about storytelling and stuff. You come in and they've got a big book from Snow White and it's just, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. <laughs> really nice. Oh wow, Snow White's costume, <laughs> Pinocchio, the second animated feature, did you know that? that Pinocchio was the second, I didn't know that. Loads and loads of cool photo ops as well, like one with the storybook and then you've got one with the fairy godmother which is just too cute. They've got a carousel horse over there from Mary Poppins. This keeps changing doesn't it? Yeah. Have you noticed? Amazing. Oh my goodness, it's Cinderella's glass slipper. That's from the T-15 film. Beautiful. So there's loads from the actual archives here and they've got a Mary Poppins script from 1964. It's so special that we're getting to see all this. It's like a dream. They have Pooh Bear. Isn't he adorable? Look at him. And Cogsworth and Lumiere, Beauty and the Beast, from the year I was born, 1991. These are obviously from the um, live action one. Look at the detail. Look at his face. It's insane. So we're now coming into the illusion of life. And they've got all the actual models. Oh, look, Remy. Oh, bless him. Hercules, Russell, Elsa and Anna of course. I'm definitely here for the aerial section. They've got all the classic aerial information and then the brand new one as well. Look at this outfit. The shimmer in that tail is stunning. Going into the spirit of adventure and discovery, Moana, oh, wow. They've got the actual costume from Elizabeth Swan for Pirates of the Caribbean, which is just so cool. Look at that. 
Moana. Lilo and Stitch. Oh, look. Oh, stop it. We've got Jungle Craze. Is that Dwayne The Rock Johnson's outfit? It actually is. It actually is. There's a great big Star Wars bit, and then I think we're moving on to Marvel, but that BB-8 is big. <laughs> Iron Man's helmet. Oh, it's from Infinity War. Oh my goodness. Captain America, Ant-Man. <laughs> so cool. The next area is the magic and sound of music. Oh, Enchanted! Look at that dress. Beautiful. Music on stage. How good is the Lion King show? It's probably still my favourite to date that I've ever seen. It's so cool to actually see these things like this close. Can you imagine? I would love to wear that. So in this music section, there's a bit about music in the Disney parks, and they've got like the music script for Pirates of the Caribbean and everything. It's, this is amazing. This is for Yoho, Yoho, Pirates Life for me. The world around us. So this will be like Disney nature. Oh, look at the seal pulps. We're like a seal pulp. Got Pandora. The concept art for Avatar. Heading into the Interventions room now. Multiplane camera. So interesting. So it's shown us all from like storyboarding over to digital artwork. Which obviously what we've got now. But look! The beginning. The new generation always exploring and innovating look at that face i'm loving this room they've got the audio animatronics so that's like a head from the hall of presidents and then i've just been listening to this little um show and they're showing us about the animatronics like the big shaman in navi river journey and all sorts it's amazing look at that it's so weird <laughs> so cool from magic kingdom park it's so weird to think I was there last week and now I'm here at the Disney 100 exhibition. How clever. A spooky pirate's head from Pirates of the Caribbean. Look at the detail in like the eyeballs and the teeth and everything. That's madness. Absolute insanity. Disneyland. Oh my gosh, look, they've even got concepts from Tron. Wow. The monorail? Oh my gosh, we're moving into a parks area. I'm not sure I can cope with this. Up. Oh my god, I can't cope. Day in the parks. Look! Main Street, Fantasyland. Wow. Oh look, it's got all the parks around the world. Oh my goodness. So we're in this Disneyland area and Lauren actually just noticed that up the top, I'll show you guys in a minute, is Main Street USA. It's like all themed like one Main Street and periodically it lights up. I think it's gonna do it. Let me show you. Look! It's Tink! How cool. Absolutely amazing. Just then takes a picture to Rob of the small world animatronic because if you guys watch our Disney World vlogs you'll know how much she loves that ride. We've got Minnie Mouse's dress from Disney World. Look at that. 
how perfect. Okay, this is your Disney World room and it's my absolute favourite so far. I am a parks lover, you guys know that. I love all the archives and films and everything, but the parks are where my heart lies and they have an actual Peter Pan ride vehicle. Look, you can actually see the leather is worn and everything. That's insane. They've got a vehicle from Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, which is so cool. I never got to do it, but Lauren did, and it's still in California, so maybe one day. The wonder of Disney. Oh, look, they've got the up balloons. Hello, Mickey. Oh, look. Oh, look. And then it says you can touch the objects within the screen. Look. Oh. So, lovely cast member just said if you touch the apple, it takes you to New York. What did you have to touch for London? Can you remember? Uh, teacup. The teacup. And then, can you write. Can you touch the water? Look at his little face. Very creepy, historic Mickey and Minnie. The so guys, if you've been to Walt Disney World, like since the 50th was on, they had the. What was it called? It wasn't the archive, the vault. It's the called vault. the vault, wasn't it? So, these are the original products. Scratcher, <laughs> the hat and the lunchbox, and they've like reimagined them but made them look like the original, so that's really cool to see. Got the Disney catalogue, we've got an Epcot Center sign. I was just looking at these thinking, like, this is what my early day Disneyland Paris pictures look like, where I'd go as a child. Love it. They've got a Polar statue shadow to look at. This room is just so cool. It's all you can't really see it on the camera, but it's all like little lights on the floor, amazing music and videos. I feel a bit mush. Oh my goodness, that's so adorable. I think this is the end. Oh look, they've got credits like it's the actual end of the movie. Love that. Just in the last room before we get to the merch, they've got another photo of who they put Mirabelle in the shop with, like a magic shop. You've also got the Charlotte Tilbury makeup with the Disney collection that I actually showed on the channel a little while ago. Got some art. So good. You just come over to these little booths at the end and scan your picture. Oh my gosh, they've put us at Disneyland. And with Mirabelle. They're cute, and then you can obviously oh, buy them. Yeah. Oh, oh look. Oh, that's actually really nice, dude. I like that one. So cool. So you can get your photo in a frame for like £13.50. But now we're going to do what we do best and look around the merchandise, because it's all Disney 100 themed. It's like a proper, proper little end of the ride gift shop kind of thing. Let's take a little looky. I have an official hoodie which is 60. They've also got t-shirts and they're 30. I love this Masketeers one. It's actually really cute. Oh, look at these. How cute, guys. He's lovely. That little Mickey doesn't have a price on just yet. Because it's the preview, I think they're still pricing some things up. I just saw a man sticking some taggies on. Look at that. It's even branded onto Minnie's foot. Official Walt Disney quote book. Oh, I really like that. It's £24. What an awesome idea. That's oh, right, don't you worry. We got it. Thank you. Just got to meet Mickey and Minnie in their 100th year anniversary outfits, which was incredible. I dressed to match them. I think I told you guys earlier, but yeah. Hopefully them pictures come out nicely. And now we get nibbles and refreshments and a lovely Disney 100 backdrop I've got there. So let me show you guys the food I've got real quick. Very posh. And then our friends were just up meeting Mickey and Minnie as well. So I think they'll be coming down soon. So it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a good catch up, good chat. Also got goodie bags. So I got like a little pesto pizza pretzel thingy, some chips, and a weenie, which looks quite nice. There's cookies and brownies and stuff too. Cranberry and a Coke. What did you go for? Those are like mac and cheese bites, mm. I think, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Looks good. 
I'm back from the exhibition, guys. I think the last thing you probably saw was us meeting Minnie and Mickey. But we also then met Donald and Daisy, which was so much fun. They were just amazing and I love their 100 outfits. I think they're really special and I'm super grateful that I got to meet them in those outfits because otherwise I wouldn't have had a chance. So that was good. But yeah, the Disney 100 exhibition as a whole was really fun. Like, I really enjoyed it. There's the 10 different rooms full of like, archives full of props full of costumes things from sets ride vehicles like it was good it was really good and you know anything with disney always has that special bit of disney magic so if you're a disney fan and you are considering a visit i would highly recommend it because us disney fans enjoy all that kind of stuff and it was really good i actually learned a lot of facts as well like going around reading all the bits and bobs i didn't put everything in the vlog because obviously can't film everything there's a lot to see and to read and you guys should just go and experience it it's so much fun we were very kindly gifted a goodie bag as well and when i got the disney 100 Minnie mouse who's so adorable look at her she's got the 100 years of wonder on her foot there lovely a disney 100 tote bag which is the exhibition excel london got two pins each which is really cool so you've got the disney 100 one and then a little Silver Mickey silhouette for Disney 100, all silver, because that's like the theme of the event. A Charlotte Tilbury beauty wand, which is amazing, and I got that in the shade gold, which is really cool, actually. Um, wasn't expecting to see that Charlotte Tilbury stand there at the end, so that was a really nice addition. And then a Disney Plus Mickey ears hat as well, which is nice. You've tried it on, haven't you? Uh-huh. Rob has too. Rob tried it on as well. Rob you look funny. so gorgeous. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. I loved it. I'm always super grateful to get invited to these PR events and previews, so it's made me very happy. Do leave a comment below. Be sure to subscribe and all that fun stuff if you have enjoyed the video. And I'll see you real soon. Bye! -bye.